Yeah. What's up everyone? Death Wish back with another Warpath video today. Today I'm going to share with you why investing into your VIP level as much as possible is so important. So in my opinion, the VIP level is probably one of the most, if not the most, undervalued investment and most important part in a player development aspect of the game that we have. A lot of people know the VIP levels there. They kind of just let it passively level up through alliance gifts, things like that. They might invest a little bit of their gold into it if they buy a pack or something like that. But the VIP level is by far, in a way, the most important aspect and investment you can make in this game. And I get asked a lot, whether it's in the comments from videos or whether it's by people that see pictures I you know, post in games, whatever it is, I get asked a lot why I've got so much gold saved up all the time. And the reason is, is in part because of the investment I'm saving up for to reinvest it back into my VIP level. So there's a couple different things that I do with my gold and we're going to cover these in a couple of different videos coming up. But in this one specifically, like I said, we're going to talk about VIP level um, specifically, but one of the other big investments I make in my gold is in the lucky wheel. And like I said, I've got a video specifically coming up about lucky wheel and breaking the lucky wheel down for you guys and giving you a more in-depth look and explanation on that as well. But those are the really two big things that I invest my gold in. Outside of that, I save my gold. I invest in the lucky wheel and I invest in my VIP level. And that's really about it. I see a lot of wasted gold within the game. I know there's things that in the game set up this way for you guys to spend it. But if you guys will come over here, right, we'll go to our black market, right? Uh, this is kind of a little side note here for you guys. And you can do it however you want. You're free to... to pick and choose what you spend your gold on or what you don't spend your gold on. But a little rule of thumb I've personally got for the black market store is I don't buy anything, any item in the black market store that is not 80% off at least. 80 or 90% off, I'll buy it. If it is not at least 80% off, I will not buy it. And the reason is, is because it's kind of a, it's kind of a waste of your gold. I know some people are big on buying like resources and, and things like that in here. And in my opinion, don't you there's so many better options for you like here this first page there's not a single item on here that's 80 percent or or, or, or higher so i just refresh it skip it and what another thing i do is you see how you get the one free refresh and then after that you've got to start paying gold don't do that hit the one free refresh and then leave it and then wait till it refreshes on its own again all right so here we go we've got one item that's 80 i'll buy that nothing else oh here we go Got 80, that's it, and then we're done. So that's how I approach the VIP, or not the VIP store, I'm sorry, but the uh, black market store. You guys can do it however you want, but that's a big thing I see a lot of people you know, waste their gold on, and I would advise you to not do that. Um, so a little rule of thumb. However, um, that is why, like I said, I save up so much gold so I can invest it into my VIP level and, my, and the uh, Lucky Wheel event. I want to go ahead and dive into why the VIP level is so important, whether you're a newer player or a, you know, an older seasoned player. So what we're going to do, and a lot of you don't know this, that are probably still in earlier servers, but there are actually some hidden VIP levels. There's two walls of, of VIP levels, and we're going to cover both of them here today. So... As you guys, and I don't I don't need to go through and read all the benefits of VIP level 1 through 15 to you guys because you guys can see all of those no matter what level you're at. But once you hit VIP level 15, you're going to unlock the first wall of um, hidden VIP levels, which is going to be six, level 16 through 20. And so we'll go through together here and we will talk about the benefits that you're going to get from the VIP level and why they're so important. So for VIP level 16, which I'm currently on, I'm approaching the halfway mark fairly close to it before I'm able to head on to VIP level 17. But once you get to VIP level 16, you're going to get the military funds collection speed of plus 35%. You're going to get the production queue length of plus 80, which really is not that important. You're going to get the officer EXP for each mission is going to increase by 12%, which is huge because you want to level up officers, obviously, as fast as you can. You get camp EXP for officer missions, plus 12%. You're going to get universal firepower bonus, plus 10%, and then training speed, plus 10%. And I think the firepower bonus and the training speed are both pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the faster you can train units and get back into the fight, the better, and the, the harder your units hit with the, the increased firepower, the better chance you have of winning the fight. 
Let's go on to VIP level 17. For 17, we're going to get a Steel Collection Speed buff of 35%. We're going to get a Unit Capacity Increase of 200. We're going to get Base Durability Recovery plus 15%, Universal Durability Bonus plus 10%, and Increased Teleport plus 1. So again, the Base Durability Recovery, that's awesome, right? You get blown up, the faster you can recover and get back in the fight, the better. Unit durability, plus 10%, obviously still self-explanatory. The longer you can survive in the fight, the better chance you have to win that fight. And then the increased teleports, this is something that confuses people, is a lot of people seem to get confused between teleports and airlifts. They're two different things. Airlifts are obviously when you can airlift your base to another section within a map. The teleports are how many times you can jump from city to city to city. So just to clarify that too. All right, VIP level 18. You get crude oil collection speed plus 35%, parts capacity plus 300, daily rush rewards limit plus 6, and that is your uh, campaign from the campaign, the daily rushes you get. So then that's actually very, very important too because the more you can do the rushes and collect the income from the campaign, the higher amount you are going to earn basically to be able to turn around and spend in the campaign store. And the campaign store is going to be something that we're going to talk about at some point too in a video. The campaign store is super, super helpful if you utilize it the right ways. Uh, moving on, we've got a troop damage inflicted, meaning how much damage you do to other enemy units is going to be plus 10%. And then training speed increase of plus 15% again. The increased training speed is crucial because the faster you can retrain and get back into the fight, the better it is for you and your alliance members. All right, let's jump over to VIP level 19. We have got an energy recovery speed of plus 30%, which the energy recovery speed is the, um, I'll just show you guys real quick. The energy recovery speed is our bar here, our energy bar here. So the faster that refills, the, the more passive, you know, you can spend this, whether it's on Raven Troops, Raven Bunkers. So for an example, so for me, I know it's full, but it basically takes me nine and a half minutes to recover one energy point. So just use that as reference. All right, let's hop back over here. Let's get back to where we were at. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, I think I may have skipped one ahead. Did I? Nope, nope, we're right here. Okay, energy speed recovery plus 30%. Unit capacity is going to be plus 250. Production queue length is plus 100. And queue length uh, is just how many materials you can put in the queue to be uh, made at one time. Troop damage suffered, minus 10%, meaning you take 10% less damage. Reserve recovery rate, meaning how fast your reserve troops recover. And this is really, really, really important too. It's going to increase by plus 150%. So the more and the faster that you can recover your reserve troops, the faster if you're low on reserves, you can rebuild and get back into the fight. So that's crucial. Increased teleports is plus two. Again, same thing as before when, like I said, it's not, teleports and airlifts are different. Teleports are just how often you can bounce from city to city to city. Let's go over here to VIP 20. So we're going to have parts capacity plus 350. Officer EXP for officer missions is going to be plus 15%. The camp EXP for officer missions is going to be plus 15%. The airlift limit is going to increase by 3. The universal, universal firepower bonus is plus 20%. The universal durability bonus is plus 20%. And then the training speed increase is plus 20%. So I know this the, these numbers some, for some of you may, may stand out and, and you guys might realize the importance of it. For some of you guys, it, it may not seem like much, but I'm telling you guys, these, these bonuses are so vital. These are the difference between winning and losing a fight. Seriously, they, these buffs are incredible. And if you guys will remember, and you guys can go back and watch it, the um, video I've put out about the difference between unit power and overall power that is where a lot of this comes into play and how you can really separate yourself from the competition let's say we've got two people that have the same exact units and the same exact parts on it right the person that's got the better buffs overall is going to be the person that wins out 100 percent of the time 
right? Assuming well, everything is on even playing field, their units are the same, the unit levels are the same, the officers and the officer levels are the same, assuming everything is the same, and all it's going to come down to is buffs, that is where you separate yourself, and that is where the importance of the VIP level and the buffs that you're going to gain from the VIP level come into play so big, okay? So, coming up, we're going to be talking about the next hidden wall of VIP levels, which is going to be VIP level 21 through 25. We're going to talk about how that can help you and how it can get, help you gain an even bigger edge over uh, other commanders. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But first, if you have enjoyed the video so far, if you will like the video and hit that subscribe button so you guys never miss a future video. And if you guys have any questions so far or even at the end of the video about the VIP level or how you can speed up increasing your VIP level, whatever it is, let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to help you guys out as much as I possibly can. So let's transition into the next hidden wall here of VIP levels. And I want to give a shout out to my boy, Cap T, for the pictures because I obviously, as you guys can see, I'm only VIP level 16. And so I can't see what the remaining VIP levels 21 through 25 offer until I complete VIP level 20. So I appreciate him sending me pictures of the VIP level 21 through 25 and what those offer. So we are going to go through that here and you guys will see some pictures of those actually on your screen as well here. So for VIP level 21, it's going to be a unit capacity increase of plus 300. It's going to be a troop speed plus 12%. Universal firepower bonus plus 30%, reserve capacity plus 3%. So, real quick, I want to talk about the universal firepower bonus, just like we've uh, on the VIP level 16 through 20, we had some uh, buffs that were fire, universal firepower and uh, durability bonuses. That means what universal means is it's not geared towards specific units, meaning it's not just an increase for tank units or for artillery units. You're getting a universal firepower bonus for every single thing you've got. And then the reserve capacity, obviously, is so vital. The plus 3,000 reserves is, is so, so, so important because that, get, that means you can stay in the fight longer. And there's so many benefits to that for you personally and for your alliance. All right, moving on to VIP level 22. Parts capacity is going to increase by plus 400. Production queue length is going to be plus 120. Base durability recovery is going to be plus 20%. Again, the faster you can get back in the fight, the better. Universal durability bonus is going to be plus 30. Training speed increase is plus 25%. All right. Jumping to VIP level 23, unit capacity is going to increase by plus 350. Troop damage inflicted is going to be a plus 15%. Reserve recovery rate plus 200%. Again, the faster you can recover those reserves, the better. I can't emphasize that enough. I know I keep repeating myself, but that's how important those reserve recovery rates are. They, they It's so, so, so important. Increased teleports plus three. VIP level 24, you're going to get parts capacity plus two, 450. You're going to get troop damage suffered minus 15%. You're going to get a training speed increase of plus 30%. VIP level 25 is going to give you unit capacity plus 400. Production queue length plus 140. Troop speed is plus 15%. Airlift limit is plus 4. Universal firepower bonus of plus 40%. That is incredible. Universal durability bonus plus 40%, also incredible. The highest VIP level we currently have, to my knowledge, with NUN is going to be Espo. He is at VIP level 23. He said he is almost to 24, so he has got almost all of these VIP levels done. I don't know if there's anybody in the game that does have all of them done. However, that's it's what I'm getting at by saying this is it's going to take you a really, really long time and to, to reach these, especially if you're not a huge, massive spender, you're going to really, really, really need to make sure that you are investing your gold into it. So like I said, 
real I know you guys see me always saving up a lot of gold, right? Go ahead and save up as much as you can. The only thing I can't stress this enough to you guys, if you guys really want to be able to, especially if you're not a big, big spender and you guys want to be able to progress through these VIP levels quickly, you guys have really got to take the time to save up the gold and, and reinvest it back into your VIP level, right? If you're in a bigger alliance, you know, and you've got people buying gifts, man, really take advantage of that. Really save that gold. Uh, any gold you get from events, whatever it is, however you attain it, really stockpile it up and reinvest it. I know it's hard not to maybe go to the black market store and scoop up some things, right, or whatever. Don't use your gold to rush researches. Don't use your gold to buy resources, anything like that. You know, with the exception of what you can actually buy in the VIP store, and we're going to jump to that and cover that real quick too. When we actually go to the VIP store, in the VIP store, the higher your VIP level, the more items you can actually unlock. But this is, I mean, this is crucial, right? You can buy these, you know, earlier items with in-game resources, so you don't actually have to buy them with gold. But once you get a little later on in a higher VIP level, you've got to buy some things with some gold. But you get the universal coupons, right? you get the officer exp books so you get all these things you get the troop and then the base durability buffs that you can buy right you get the entry permits you there's so you get rushes there's so many things components the vip store is also extremely helpful however i personally am very selective i know some people that will go through and try to buy just everything they possibly can at reset and I, I personally don't do that. I don't do that because to me, again, I want to increase my VIP level more than I want to just buy the items. Um, so for now, that's what I'm doing. When I go through each reset, I always go through and I buy all the ammo, the standard ammo, and then I also go through and I buy all the Air Force ammo. So I do that every, every time uh, reset, and that's generally all I'll buy depending on the situation or what. It may, for example, so if we're going to be going into a pre-selection event for... Uh, a conquest event, right? Pre-selection battle honors for a conquest event. Then yes, I'll go through and I'll buy some of the resources out of here and things like that to help my my uh, alliance. You know, make sure we're we're getting seated for the epic battlefield. So uh, certain situations you can tailor it, but for the most part, I go through and I buy I buy the energy, I buy the officer books, and I buy the ammo, and that's really about it. And everything else, like I said, gets socked away and it gets invested into Lucky Wheel and it gets invested back into my VIP level. So hopefully that gives you guys a little bit more understanding and importance of the VIP level and why it is so important and the buffs it gives and how it can give you such an advantage because most players totally undervalue VIP level and what it actually does for you. And as a result, if you're maybe a little bit weaker of a player with a higher VIP level, you're still gonna gain the advantage 100% of the time. So. Definitely really make sure you guys try to take this to heart, apply what we've talked about, and you guys will see a drastic jump in what you're able to do on the battlefield with those higher VIP levels. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you enjoyed it and want to see other videos, you can click on the next video here at the end of the video. I appreciate you guys. Like I said, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and drop a like on the video. If you've got any questions at all, please drop a comment below and um, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys, and I will catch you guys on the next one.